This is the Total Contact Saddle by Total Contact Equine Solutions. I'm going to show you my padding setups. I've gotten to try quite a few different pads and setups to find what works for me and my horse. And that's something that I do really love about the TCS is that it is so customizable to the individual horse and rider pair. When I first got my TCS, I started out just using the thick Western pads that I already had on hand and they worked really well for my horses. They have a felt bottom and wool top. Now this is Angel, she's one of the horses I ride in my TCS and I just wanted to show you kind of the shape of her back. She is a little higher withered than some of the horses I ride but this setup works well for her. This is what the western pad looks like on a horse with the total contact saddle. There's nothing wrong with keeping it simple that's the design of the Total Contact Saddle, is to be simple and minimalistic, and these types of pads do work well with the Total Contact Saddle. I've used several different thin line saddle pads with my TCS. They come in all kinds of different styles and materials, and this one is one of my favorites. It has a felt bottom, and the top is, of course, the special thin line foam padding. And here's Dot. She's shaped a little differently from the last horse. She's a little bit flatter and rounder. And this is what the thin line saddle pad with the TCS looks like on her. These pads are also shimmable. So if you find that you want a little extra padding, you can buy the foam inserts that you can stick in these pads if you want a little bit more added protection. This is just another variation of like a Western pad. It's still really simple, but there's a little bit more technology to these types of pads. And this is another thin line pad. It's just square shaped, very similar to the last pad with a felt bottom. And then the second one is also a square thin line pad, shimmable with the thin line foam on top, but the bottom is actually sheepskin. This is my favorite English style padding setup. I've got just a regular quilted pad and then a half pad by Thin Line. And this is Gus. He's one of my easier horses to fit. And here's what that padding setup looks like. In this half pad is shimmable and I have mine fully shimmed both in the front and the back. This is a really simple English style setup and it works well for the majority of horses that I ride. This half pad has a sheepskin bottom. It's very plush and comfortable for both me and the horses. And then it has the pockets that you can put the shims in. And the thin line shims are made of the same foam that the top is made of. This is the Equipedic pad. It's the endurance style. And I really like this pad for longer distances because it has really thick foam inserts in the pockets on either side. They are removable. You can see just how thick they are from this view here underneath. And they hold up really well. They don't mash down when you sit on them like some foam does. It really holds up under weight and it has a built-in channel it's designed to work with treeless saddles, so it does really well with the Total Contact saddle if you're looking for spinal clearance. And this is Mr. Attitude. He is one of my more higher withered horses that I ride with my TCS. And he does really well in the Equipedic pad. I like how it is contoured in the wither area. And this is what it looks like on him. And next I have my Freemax treeless saddle top. So I use this with some of the higher withered horses that I have problems maintaining proper position in the saddle. So I use it with my Equipedic pad, but you can probably use it with any pad. And then I put my total contact saddle over the top of it to keep it in place. And it seems to really help me with my position. And this is Tennessee. He's 
one that I do struggle to maintain my position on if I'm in just more of a simple padding setup. And I found that the Freemax treeless top really helps me maintain my position on him. And this is what it looks like on Tennessee. So having a cantle to raise my seat up really helps me keep my leg underneath of me when I'm riding. And I really like this padding setup on this particular horse. I don't ride in this all the time with every horse. Here I am on Ziggy in my TCS with just the Aquapedic pad. And you'll see that I don't have any trouble keeping my position when I'm on her in this setup. But when I use the same exact setup on Tennessee, there are some differences. My legs are slightly in front of me and there's a curve in my spine, kind of in a chair position, but you can tell I'm like really fighting to maintain that ear, shoulder, hip, heel alignment. And then when I add the Freemax treeless saddle top, to this setup, I no longer have that issue anymore. I'm able to keep my legs underneath of me and my spine is a lot straighter. And last, I have a full reindeer hide folded in half under my TCS. There was a study that showed that reindeer hide was the best at reducing maximum overall force underneath of saddles. So that's why I wanted to give this a shot. And this is what it looks like laid out flat. Here's Ziggy and I'll show you what her back shape looks like. And then this is the reindeer hide on her back. So I do have it folded in half. So it's hair down, tail to tail. That way the hair is going the same direction. And then this is what it looks like with the total contact saddle on top of it. It's super comfortable, very thick. You can see just how thick it is from this view here. And it keeps me warm and her warm in the winter months. I've seen some people cut the reindeer hide to make two pads so that way they can use a smaller piece of it during the summer and that works great.